So how do you know when to properly exit your position? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech with Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. Uh, one of the things I quickly wanted to talk about is I'm filming this video on Friday. This is October 7th. Uh, the unemployment report was just released and it came in better than expected. This is something that we talked about the day prior where it was made very clear. If the unemployment rate came in better than expected, meaning lower than expected, the market would drop. The unemployment report came in better than expected, therefore above 3.7%, the, the market would most likely be rising, right? And it's all because of the Federal Reserve and how they judge how aggressive or how lightly they can approach interest rates and the reduction of their balance sheet. So at the end of the day, I, I never know exactly what's going to happen, right? My job's not to predict the future. My job is just to prepare for it. One of the things that I pay attention to most, I mean, you can pay attention to every indicator. You can pay attention to RSI, MACD, EMA, moving average, all that, right? At the end of the day, the thing that's most important is direction. No reason to overcomplicate it, right? You can say this this indicator is 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 best. At the end of the day, no indicator is 100% accurate all of the time. The biggest focus I always have is direction. A very simple question is, is direction in your favor? Yes, right? SQQQ, very bullish on the day. It goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down. Therefore, I ask myself a very simple question. Is there a change of direction? I want to allow my runner to run, right? My winner to run and make as much money as possible until there is a change of direction. Well, why, right? Why wouldn't I want to sell before? Well, you know, if I would have sold when something was overbought, right? The RSI was overbought here at 57, but right now we're at nearly $59 a share, right? So why would I just sell because something is overbought? Overbought doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it could lead to a potential pullback, but it's still bullish, right? We're still trading above the moving average. We're still making higher highs and higher lows, indicating signs of an uptrend. And that's the most important part. Again, no indicator is 100% accurate. With that being said, I wanted to make sure that I talked about when it would make sense to completely either be out of this position. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to reduce your position size at overbought levels. Like let's say that it's so overbought, just like it was last time, right? That you wanna reduce your position size, meaning that you wanna sell a couple of your shares. Let's say that you own 10 shares. Maybe you wanna sell five of those shares just in case it does pull on back. You have enough money left in your account to be able to buy more and or so you can tolerate that pullback a little bit more, right? Everyone can have different intentions. And obviously as something becomes more overbought, you do run the risk of it potentially pulling on back and correcting itself. And you always wanna take downside risk into consideration. But you also want to be aware with the concept of allowing your winners to run that if there is no break of pattern, if there is no change of direction, then there is no need to have to sell your entire position. And this is exactly why I'm still holding my position in SQQQ. Now, obviously, as we begin to approach $59 a share, I'm up now $39,000 on the day, 38,900, there it goes, 39,000. If we do break about $59 a share, especially leading into power hour, we can see a nice little gap up. But nonetheless, there's a lot of downside risk. We are up 11% on the day on SQQQ, which means there is possibility for there to be a quick change of direction. So one of two things, you can follow with a stop loss, meaning that let's say that you own 10 shares, right? You can follow with a stop loss that if there is a break of pattern, if it breaks below the moving average, wherever your break of pattern is, then you can automatically manage your risk and manage your position size. But as long as it continues to indicate signs of an uptrend, then you don't have to automatically sell your position. And that's kind of where I'm at as of right now. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna sell 1500 shares uh, right around the $59 price point. So I'm gonna control this with a limit order and I'm gonna go to 58.99, again, just to be funny for this video um, and just make sure everything checks out. And if it does, I'm gonna check this, make sure I send it out. And if we hit highs of 58.99, then I should be getting filled here on the Webull trading platform. Again, a lot of people like to ask me also what trading platform I like to use. I like to use the Webull trading app. They're constantly updating their platform, both desktop and mobile. I think that they're blowing the competition out of the water. Any other, I feel like other platforms are just so outdated and stuck in their own ways. Did you know that you can have more than one trading platform? So if you've ever wanted to try something new out, if you guys click the fifth link in the description down below, you guys, if you deposit $1 when you sign up, on the Webull trading app, by using my link, you will earn an automatic 12 free stocks. So I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of that. Yes, 
you do have to use my link and yes you do have to deposit at least one dollar and you will earn 12 free stocks if you end up not liking it for whatever the case might be you can sell those 12 shares that you get cash in them out and withdraw it and then you just made whatever dollar amount each of those shares were worth, right? Uh, you get 12 shares, I get one free share, we all win, and that's the great thing about it. So again, we are now testing $59 a share. I'm gonna make sure that I make my Learn Plan Profit team aware. So I'm gonna put SQQQ, reaching the new highs of 59, all right? It's so making sure that I keep my Learn Plan Profit Group up to date, and then obviously put no break of pattern just yet. Making sure that they are all aware of what is going on in real time, right? So my Learn Plan Profit Group, for those that are unaware, um, I trade live with them every morning, and then I post updates, not on, I'm, I'm never gonna be like, hey guys, I'm buying, you guys need to buy here, you guys need to sell here. I don't tell them where to buy or where to sell. I just keep them up to date on what I'm paying attention to and what I'm doing. So if I end up you know, selling my shares, then I keep them up to date of like, hey, I'm reducing my position size, or if I begin to buy shares, it's just you know holding one another accountable and making sure that they are aware of what I'm up to, right? So those updates are posted in our trade ideas, uh, which is our private group chat for our Learn Plan Profit group. So let's see if we actually end up hitting their goes. So sold, what was that, 1,500 shares and we're making new highs, 5,909. We're up 39,500 on the day. Um, and it's looking pretty good. We got the VIX pretty high. And again, for those that are unaware of like, why is the market selling off? Uh, it's very simple. Unemployment report was 3.7%. Uh, that was the expectation. It came in at 3.5%. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, I made a video, I posted it publicly on YouTube, I made sure everyone was aware, I traded live with my Learn Plan Profit Group and just direction was in our favor, right? People like to overcomplicate their trading. They like to, you know, always hope that it goes one way or another. I genuinely do not care. Um, if the market's bullish, if the market's bearish, there's always money to be made if you focus on one thing and that's direction. Right? If you have clear direction like we do today, which doesn't always present itself, so you don't need to trade every day, but if you have clear direction and direction is in your favor, in my opinion, those are the best times to trade, right? Kind of like today where you really begin to milk it and step on the gas and that's what my LPP team gets to experience every day during our live trading session is a lot of days, if the days are choppy, we're kind of just you know waiting for an opportunity to present itself. So every day is not a day worth trading, but when when direction is clear right it doesn't matter if it's bullish it doesn't matter if it's bearish we can always take action as long as direction is clear so i don't know about you guys but if you guys are tired of missing out especially if you guys are tired of not understanding why the market is doing what it's doing if you're tired of just always having to search for the next stock to trade i like to keep my trading simple i can't say that the way that i do things is the best way it's really up to you if you think that my way of trading is simple enough where sqqq goes up when the markets go down and tqqq goes down when the markets go down so as long as i focus on direction there's always money to be made i'm going to put another limit order to sell and i'm going to put um let's do 2500 here so it's beginning to slow down and that's also another thing that i like to pay attention to is the progression the momentum behind the trade. So if we're not seeing much progression, much momentum following through, then I have to make sure that, um, you know, I become aware of that, right? You don't necessarily have to do anything about it if you don't want to, but if you're beginning to see a slowdown, it's probably for a reason, right? We're maybe approaching a resistance level, we're probably peaking, um, it's just something that I wanna be aware of. There's no break of pattern, I don't have to sell my entire position until you know we begin to trade below the moving average and or until the day closes. So I uh, just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Um, if you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord. That's the first link in the description. And for those that are unaware of like, Ricky, why were you so focused on SQQQ today? I mean, can you blame me? The overall direction based off of the past month, SQQQ has been bullish. If you look at TQQQ, a lot of you guys saw when I began to lock in profits on TQs right around $22 a share. It gapped up to 23. A lot of you guys thought it was funny of like, oh, I sold way too early. Um, sure, if that's what you think, right? But direction is not in your favor. Direction is not in the market's favor. It's bearish. And by understanding overall patterns, again, you just begin to respect the trend and you care less about what other people are saying and what actually makes sense, right? So 39,600 on the day, I wanted to see if we can hit 
uh, the $40,000 mark, but it doesn't look like we're going to hit it um, during this video. So again, if you have any questions, you guys know how to reach out to me. That's going to be the first link in the description of this video. You can send me a direct message via Discord or send me a message via Instagram. And that's that third link down below. If you want to join my Learn Plan Profit Group or run one of the biggest discounts that we offer, it's $100 off. And that's that second link in the description. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. You get to watch me trade live every day. You get access to our A to Z video lesson library that's designed for complete beginners. And yes, you get access to our private group chat and TechBuds HQ. Again, second link down below, one of the biggest discounts we offer. And right now it's $100 off. If you want to download the Webull trading app and earn up to 12 free stocks when you deposit $1, that is the fifth link in the description. And don't forget to visit the shop TechBuds site, fourth link down below to pick up some uh, flags and some uh, mouse pads for your trading setup. I really do appreciate guys' time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team. Oh. 40,000, 40,000. There it goes. We touched it. We touched it for a little bit. We hit 40,000 for, for a millisecond. So I really do appreciate your guys' time. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.